Well, the history of the Virginia Theater goes back to the early 1920s. The theater was built uh, really as Somerset's first and for many years only movie theater. Built in 1922 by a local businessman by the name of T.E. Jasper, and it operated from 1922 very successfully until around 1994. The entire block that the theater is in is, is uh, very historic to us, with the theater being right in the center of it. The viability of downtown and the architectural appearance, the, the architectural fabric of East Mount Vernon Street rests almost entirely on the, the continuation of the Virginia Theater. When downtown Somerset Development acquired the property in the early 2000s, it was really considered a total loss as far as the usability of it. The air conditioning units that had been installed on top of the building had crashed through to the, to the stage and the, the seating in the auditorium. From, from a practical standpoint, all you had was four walls. It had a, a lower auditorium and it had an upper balcony. There's a lot of people who have really bad memories of the upper balcony, and that's particularly our, our black community because it was a segregated theater. There was a, an actual, what they call, parting rail that went from the top of the, the chairs to the bottom of the chairs in the balcony, and that was the only place that the uh, black community could come see the movies. Sometimes you have to, to break down some walls, you have to renovate and recreate and build back a, a venue and a place that everybody's welcome, and that's exactly what's gonna happen here. We've seen a, a renaissance in our downtown, and really the only empty hole, if you will, was the Virginia. Well, I thought, what a, what a beautiful piece of synergy as we're having this rebirth and this renaissance. Uh, let that be the icing on the cake. You know, this 100-year project that the community's wanted for decades, it's gonna largely be a live music venue, now we think this is going to be a perfect spot, sort of in between Nashville and some other larger cities for great artists to come. We want to make the Virginia a world-class destination for world-class artists, but also a place for our locals to, to showcase their skills. We're going to have live theater, performance theater. Uh, we hope it'll also be an event space, so a versatile multi-use, and I think something for everybody across the community and across the region. I'm Doug Flynn, and if you like that segment and want to see more of the bluegrass, click here for more Kentucky Life. Subscribe to KET to see where we go next.